So I need to start a little bit further along the way to understand why we are where we are actually today. Shame mm. is the low vibrational state of consciousness frequency. And shame is what we have been programmed to or subject to our entire lives. Mm. It starts in childhood, obviously, you know, we are being shamed for being too loud, too quiet or not quiet enough. Why can't you be like this child? Look what they are doing. Why can't you study? Da, 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 da. Then it goes on with our body, with our image. We are too fat. We are too thin. We are too muscular, too athletic, not feminine enough. We have too big curves, too small curves. So we are constantly portrayed an image and giving messages that are saying you are not enough the way you are. As little children, we don't care about shame, right? We express ourselves in the way that is true for us. That's why children are very honest. Even for adults, it's like, oh, how can you say that? But as a matter of fact, they say what they believe. And we were one child, yeah? And then, of course, when you grow up, you start, you know, changing all of that. And shame is something that is keeping you in a very low vibrational state. And guess where shame in particular for women, but for men too, is stored. It's stored in your womb, in your sacral chakra, in your sexual organs. This is where shame and guilt and, and apathy are stored and grief too. And this is the area that has been attacked. We need to understand that the womb, and this is sacred ancient wisdom, the womb is where the stargate. That means it's the port between dimensions, the old dimensions and the new. Now, in order to birth the womb, the stargate has to be cleared. The portal has to be cleared completely. And it has been polluted for centuries. So we have given that shame timeline imprint from one generation to another. Because sexuality is bad, especially the female sensuality and sexuality is considered dark. Mm. Because the feminine actually is the dark component and the masculine is the light. That's why we are represented by the moon and the masculine by the sun. The sun, right, shines the light, but the feminine the moon illuminates, illuminates the darkness and the secrets. So female sexuality has been feared for a very long time. And that's why the shame consciousness is so strongly embedded in the unconscious collective. We are playing it out over and over again. To begin with, you gotta start truly noticing and ask yourself that one question. Mm. And you can do that while connecting to your womb. Yeah? Because your womb holds all the wisdom. You don't need an outside source to tell you that. Where in my life am I most afraid to let others see me? Question number one. Question number two, what part of myself am I most ashamed? to show others and why yeah so you got to ask yourself what is this shame who is this shame it didn't just appear out of nowhere yeah again it can come through our ancestral lineage it can come as an imprint while we were as little embryos in our mom's womb not necessarily just from childhood so because we are multi-dimensional beings it has multi-dimensional components Totally. And when you understand where in your life you really feel shame, mm. and then you can connect to that part, because what shame needs to do, it needs to be illuminated. Again, feminine, moon energy, illuminate what is in the dark. Bring it to the surface to be seen. And then from that place, you can transmute it back into light. So to reach higher levels of consciousness, we need to transmute all the lower ones and understand where we have been manipulated and programmed to believe what about ourselves. Mm. Yeah. Unfortunately, in our societies, and it doesn't matter where we live, somehow what a woman wears justifies the amount of respect she gets from men and the judgment she gets from other women. It's a disaster. Mm -hmm. women, women so much. So why does what I wear allow you to decide what level of respect I get from you? No. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So that's why it's the energy. That's what people, people pick up on is the energy. Yeah. When you are embodied in your power, it doesn't really matter what you wear because people pick up on that sovereign power and you will energetically demand respect. Yeah, that's why the work is cleaning the portal, protecting the portal, and really identifying with yourself from a higher state of consciousness, not from a lower state of consciousness, because we believe that which we experience to be the truth mm. of who we are. Yeah.
That's so true. Would you say that this is the process of embracing vulnerability? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. It takes courage to go into your dark waters. Again, feminine. And that feminine energy counts for men and women alike. It takes courage sure. to really dive deep and to go through these emotions because in order to really release and transmute anything, we need to feel it. Right. So we need to be back to our first birth to be reborn again. There are two very powerful exercises I'd like to share with you because there are many different ones, right? Uh-huh. Again, we need to work on many layers. Body is earth, yeah, it's sensuality. That mm-hmm. is the body. It's ruled in astrology by Taurus. Taurus is ruled by Venus, yeah, mm-hmm. and Venus rules Libra. So it's all feminine energy and it's relationships with us, with ourselves, but then also our earthly experience. So there is no bigger earth sign than Taurus. Yeah? So going into your body and really acknowledging your body for how it looks like in its full beauty is to stand naked in front of a mirror and observe and observe especially those parts you don't like Mm -hmm. and start in love because there is not one woman who doesn't have cellulite who doesn't have with age especially sucking skin it's part of being human we cannot forever stay 20. yeah and your shape is also the, the structure of your bones cannot be changed unless you of course do some kind of surgery and you and you break them and you realign them but that's of course another story you need to start owning your body and honoring it because it's your home. So by looking in the mirror and really looking, especially at the flaws first and owning them and loving them, giving them love, you start to create a relationship with you. It's like self love making. Yeah, it's like making love to yourself. You look at them, you give them love. You can do that also with your organs, right? You can do it with every single part of your body. It's about giving it love and accepting it for what it is. See your body as if it was your baby. Would you diminish your baby? Would you tell your baby you're ugly or your child doesn't matter? So why do you do that to yourself? You're also still that inner child that deserves your love. And you're perfect just as you are. It does not matter. Of course, health is another component. If you're very big because you're not eating healthy, then you need to look at that because that's about your overall well-being and health. But if it's your natural curves, We are all uniquely designed and that's the beauty of it. Do not try to be someone you're not. You are the way you are for a reason. And then number two is there is no quicker way for women to tap really into their feminine embodiment and spark their soul than it is through dance. And dance is ancient, all the female dances just like the Egyptian belly dance, yeah, the hula, the Indian temple dance evolved around the womb. And the reason was that women invented that back in the days, especially on the full moons, when they were dancing in circles and they were moving their hips, they were doing this to, when they were pregnant, to call in their baby, their unborn yet, into the world. And they did that through womb movement. It's like a lullaby, right? When you have your baby in your hands, you also hold it like this for it to go to sleep. And the movement is similar. I mean, there is a reason why why Latino American Afro dancing all twerk. They're all around the pelvis, the hips, the butt. These are our power organs as women. And when you start moving your hips, it's not about how it looks. It's about how you feel. And start moving it gently and slowly. Allow your body to express itself in its nature. Connect to that part, which we so often neglect and judge. Mm 